One of the most common questions I receive from you guys is, hey, Improvement Pill, I've been watching a lot of self-improvement videos, I've been reading a lot of books, but I can't seem to make any actual change in my life. And if you're in a situation like this, chances are you haven't learned the concept you're trying to adopt properly. A lot of the videos out there, including many of mine, only scratch the surface of certain topics. There's only so much we can teach you in a three to five minute clip. And oftentimes, this limited amount of information is not enough to motivate motivate you to make the actual change. But if you understand how and why something works on a very deep level, then it becomes much easier to stick to. Because if you learn the concept properly, it starts to feel like common sense. For example, if you really, really sat down and learned about nutrition, and you started to uncover the truth about sugar, you learn about exactly what it does to your body, about how it interacts with your insulin, your brain function, about how it promotes fat storage, and you do this properly to the point where you really understand what sugar does to your body, then it becomes common sense to stay away from it. You're going to say, of course, I'm going to stay away from sugar. It's basically poison for my body. And that's the power of learning something properly. So how exactly do we do this? How exactly do we make sure that we understand a concept that we're trying to adopt? Well, the most effective way to learn something is by using what's called the Feynman technique, invented by the legendary Professor Feynman, a Nobel Prize winning scientist who was also also known as the Great Explainer. He was known for his ability to explain extremely complicated concepts to just about anyone. And here's how the Feynman Technique works. There are five steps. The first step is to have a concept in mind that you want to learn properly. What is a concept that you know you should follow but you have a really hard time doing? Let's say for example you're trying to lose weight and you know one thing you should stay away from is sugar. One of the concepts you should learn properly is why sugar is bad. The second step is to try to explain how this concept works as simply as you can. You can write your explanation out on a piece of paper or you can pretend to give a lecture. Regardless of what you pick, try to explain the concept as if you were teaching a class of third graders. The reason I say third graders is because you want to explain this topic as simply as you can. This means no complicated vocabulary and simple, simple language. This forces you to explain the concept at its core, which tests how much you really understand it. If we use our example about why sugar is bad, we won't be able to use words like insulin or fatty liver because third graders don't know what that is. The third step is to determine a gap in your knowledge. So during your explanation to your imaginary class of third graders, you're going to have moments where you realize you don't really understand something. Let's say you can't break down the word insulin for your class. This means you don't really know what it is. Yes, you can toss the word around and you can use it correctly in a sentence, but you don't know exactly what it is is or how it works. If you did, you would be able to explain it. The fourth step is to fill in this gap. Go back to your reading or go back onto the internet and fill in this gap of knowledge. In our example of insulin, this would require you to maybe look up the Wikipedia page or watch a couple more videos on the topic. The fifth and final step is to repeat the process. Each time you find a gap of knowledge in your explanation and you do more research to fill it in, you're going to have an easier time explaining this concept to your imaginary class of dirt graders. You want to repeat this process over and over again until finally you can explain everything there is to know about a concept to your class without using any complicated words. This ensures that you yourself have developed a deep understanding of exactly why and how a concept works. If you take this technique and apply it to self-improvement, you're going to start finding massive amounts of success. And again, this is because when you truly understand a concept, when you know exactly why something works, then it becomes much much easier for you to act upon it because it feels like common sense and this relates back to a concept that I talk about quite often on this channel cognitive dissonance which is the uncomfortable feeling we get when we have two opposite ideas in our head someone who truly believes that sugar is bad is going to feel very uncomfortable if he thinks about eating something that's high in sugar this discomfort motivates him to stay away from the sugary product learning a concept properly is extremely effective because it allows you to use cognitive dissonance like a tool to make changes in your life. Speaking of learning, this episode was brought to you with the help of the guys at Brilliant.org. Brilliant is a place where you can learn math, science, logic, and other interesting subjects. They employ a teaching style that's very similar to the Feynman technique where you are given intriguing questions that test your knowledge. When you come across gaps in your knowledge, they provide you with the correct answer as well as an explanation as to why. My favorite course right now is the joy of problem solving. I'm a big believer 
that anyone who hopes to run a successful business one day needs to have the ability to solve problems. Because anyone who runs a business knows obstacles are plenty and you need to have an impeccable problem solving ability to make it. Using Brilliant is a fun and easy way to learn and improve your knowledge in many areas of your life, so I highly recommend checking it out. Go to brilliant.org forward slash improvement pill to sign up for free. The first 200 people who click on the link in the description box below will get 20% off their yearly plan. And besides that guys, stay tuned.